Hi, I'm Eric Weinhofer with Make. In this weekend project, we'll explore the classic notion of hot-cold by using an Arduino to measure data from a distance sensor. There's no soldering involved here, so this is a great project for beginners, and we'll use simple changes in the code to interpret the same circuit in three different ways. All three hot-cold programs use the same parallax ping sensor, an ultrasonic distance sensor that emits sound waves inaudible to humans. It's very low power and has three convenient pinouts that make it easy to plug directly into a solderless breadboard. Let's get started. Here's Tyler to walk you through the build. You'll need the following parts for this build. You will also need Once you've gathered all these parts, this will only take a few minutes to assemble. First, connect the Arduino's 5-volt power supply to the power rail on the breadboard. Then, connect the Arduino's ground to the ground rail on the breadboard. Make additional jumps from those rails to two rows on the breadboard. Next, connect a jumper wire between the Arduino's digital pin 7 and another row on the breadboard. Note that these three rows should be adjacent to each other and should be in this order. Ground, power, and signal. Place your ping sensor in the breadboard so the pinouts line up with the ground, power, and signal jumper wires. Ultrasonic distance sensors work on a principle similar to sonar technology. They emit an inaudible sound wave and determine the distance between the sensor and target by measuring the time required for the echo to return. Now connect a jumper wire from the Arduino's digital pin 6 to a row on the breadboard, and another wire from pin 5 to another row on the breadboard, leaving a few rows in between. For our build, we're using red and blue super bright LEDs to signify hot and cold. You can use whatever LEDs you want or already have on hand, but since they will be two different colors, each LED will need a different resistor to glow at maximum brightness. Be sure to do the proper LED calculation to determine what resistor you will need, and if you are unsure, search online for LED calculator. Place the cold LED so its anode, the longer leg, goes in the row connected to pin 6. Place the hot LED so its anode goes in the row connected to pin 5. Place the resistor required by each LED for optimal brightness between the LED's cathode and the ground rail on the breadboard. And that's it. We'll now use software to show you three variations of hot and cold LEDs. Plug the USB cable into the Arduino. Plug the other end into your computer. Even without a sketch loaded onto the Arduino, the ping sensor's status LED should light up. This lets you know it's working. Download version one of the hot cold software from the links on the project page. Launch the Arduino software, open the version one program and hit the upload button. The LEDs on the Arduino will flash, signaling the program was received and loaded into memory. Let's test it out. This ping sensor can sense distances from two centimeters up to three meters. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we've restricted the range in the software. Put your hand in front of the sensor at a distance and you will see the cold LED start to flicker. As you get closer to the sensor, the hot LED will eventually light up and the cold LED will begin to fade out. The hot LED will be at maximum software controlled brightness when your hand is closest to the sensor. The software is very easy to understand. Take a look and see how the Arduino's digital 5, 6, and 7 pins are declared and how the brightness of the hot and cold LEDs are determined by the object's distance from the sensor. Feel free to experiment with the distance and brightness settings to see how they operate and to suit your application. Now, I wonder how else we can use this circuit to explore other applications of hot and cold LEDs by simply changing the software. Let's load the other programs to find out. Now download and open the version 2 sketch and upload it to the Arduino. Version 2 is a game. You'll immediately see that the cold LED will light up. When the hot LED flashes, you have half a second to grab the ping. If you fail, the cold LED will flash. If you succeed, the hot LED will flash. And if you try to cheat, the ping sensor will know it. Again, examine the software to see how everything is first declared then how the sensor sends and listens for a reply. Lastly, download, open, and upload the version 3 sketch. This one is really neat. You'll notice with nothing in front of the ping sensor, the cold LED will emit a pulsating glow.
However, when something rests in front of the sensor for long enough, the cold LED will switch off and the hot LED will light up at maximum brightness. For example, this could be used as a visual clue to let your colleagues know when you're at your desk. Or, by extending the Arduino software further, could be used to trigger other events, such as waking up your computer when you sit in front of it. Experiment with each of the program settings to see how input determines output and how both can be controlled with code. And if you come up with your own variation of hot and cold LEDs, be sure to leave a comment in the build notes on the project page. And as always, have fun.